Hello and welcome back everyone to Unreal Tournament 2004 and in this episode on Rocket Rabbit Commentaries we will be starting up the Assault Mode Ladder. Woohoo! Yay. We will be starting on fire on uh, the on the Fallen City against the, uh, the uh, Gen Mokai team of Firestorm. Hi Komek. I like Komek. These guys got Following funny faces. The Scar War, many of Earth's cities lay in ruins. When the new Earth government Exposition. Asserted its authority over yes. these areas, they were confronted by many rebel groups, often covertly financed by the great corporations which had established bases in the destroyed cities. Oh look, it's the Cold this War. Area recreates the destruction of a rebel command center by NEG forces. NEG for the record the stands for New Earth battle. Government. The attacker's insertion point is a distance away from the command center. Also sounds like energy aircraft protection around the bunker. The attackers must first make their way through the streets on foot and clear out any resistance they find. They must destroy the barricade in order to in proceed, order to, to, the proceed to the next objective. Now that is the Thankfully, assault we'll have flight cannons for that section. Next, they must take out the forward outpost. When the area is clear, a shipment of heavier cargo will be dropped in to help you proceed. Jesus Granting Christ. us an additional checkpoint. It's a lot of information. So, I mean, norm normally they don't, you know, explain to you, they, they don't declare what the objectives are. I mean, they, they eventually tell you what they are, but they don't give you, like, an overview. Okay, here's the plan. You're going to spawn over here. You're going to die here a couple times to get used to this checkpoint. You have your grenades ready and so on. You will have to bypass the defenses and infiltrate the bunker to reach their command center. Explosions. Nah. Destroyable objectives. Explosions. And we get the next checkpoint after going down and place that to pathway, the or is it these stairs? This should bring the resistance to its knees. Yeah, Stew's Club, Phil's Bagels. Take that, you small businesses. And your oil drums. No, we are planting cl uh, closed charges. There we go. And let us begin. Two, one. You are attacking. Yeah. All right. So we have rocket launcher and minigun. Oh, and sniper rifle. Now, for the most part, assault mode. Uh, thanks to the uh, expo uh, thanks to the expo uh, expositional um, uh, montage at the beginning, is relatively is relatively easy to understand. Assault mode is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I honestly think that assault mode, uh, although is although is a lot of fun, is a specifically really fun in this particular game over uh, Unreal Tournament One. Unreal Tournament One has got a couple of assault maps that, although are really fun to play on, are broken in fucking half by the uh, by the additional movement options that uh, that you have access to. Yeah, attackers usually win in these in these types of games. Forward outpost secured. Oh, we don't get access to the flat the cannon. Damn. All right. I know our defenders get access to the flat cannon. So, did I ever tell you that I made my own assault mode map once? How many checkpoints did you use? <sighs> Let's see. One, two, three, I think like four or five. Uh, honestly, it probably was slightly too big of a map then. Uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, no, uh, it wasn't too big. I mean, it was designed. I it, it was designed so that you would like reuse the map over again. So, like, the whole premise was you were breaking into a fortress in order to steal like computer data or financial data, and then you're supposed to blow up the computer and make your escape. So you start outside of the fortress, oh, so and you, you actually have to get out. All you right. have to get out. Yeah. And that's how you, you see, conserve a majority, the memory. Uh, majority of the assault maps in uh, in in UTO4 don't actually task you with getting out as well. You just you just have to successfully get in. Precisely. And that is how developers always had an advantage over just map make creations where they severely limit how much data you can use. Mm. <sighs> no, Pascal, that you're going the wrong way. Dun, 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 dun. Follow the arrow. Yeah, Pascardet gets lost a lot on these maps. That's all right. I mean, we're just meeting our new friend here. Pointy arrow that changes colors depending on right or wrongness. 
Alright, come on. Well, I killed Comek, but then he killed me as well. Damn it. To destroy the command center. Yes, we have completed the objective. Now destroy the next one using your new checkpoint. Hey, I remember these. That means we're close to the end of the map. You gotta plant the explosive, son. Damn it. The defense is strong. Not really. The defense is two dudes, but uh, <laughs> the, but the two dudes have got a better position than I do. And Lauren isn't actually helping me. Damn it, Lauren. So, I mean, allow me to describe the assault mode map making progress processes. You're supposed to do it. You know, first you create the map, and then you uh, you create it objective by objective. So, like Explosive time splitters, set. for instance, because I use the map editor on that. You say this is uh, assault mode objective spawn point one, and you could set so many different points, and players will spawn randomly at those points for the offense and the defense. And you do that for each subsequent objective. So you got to change the spawn points each time, and so on. In order, it also helps keep up the narrative while also not helping players break the map. <laughs> right. To be perfectly honest, oh, one of the uh, one of the small negatives that I have towards uh, how assault is built in uh, in UTO4 is that you will end up using the uh, same checkpoint for uh, for multiple uh, for multiple objectives. Um, I think up to three on later maps, and uh, that can uh, that can be a bit of a ha that can be a bit of a hassle to uh, not, not to wrap your head around, but to uh, to but to actually to actually utilize effectively. I think I think that locking you down at one checkpoint it definitely makes it harder for the offense. Uh, that um, all right? Well, we're playing on defense right now. Defense has to yeah. you know of course stay ahead of the offense, not have to catch up. <laughs> Might even incentivize you to commit suicide so you can get to the new spawn point. Do, do to be you perfectly honest, one of the things that I, uh, one of the things that I'm not doing that I really should be doing is sniper camping on top of uh, any uh, either of the uh, structures that we've got, because um, uh, dealing any amount of damage to them uh, before they actually get to uh, to the point that they have to assault is uh, is a serious steroid for the rest of my team. Oh jeez, quick end position, you they're coming. Defending. You must hold the barricade. But I'm We're trying. holding the barricade just fine. It's only at half health at the moment. So, does Unreal Tournament give you a kill yourself button? No. Okay. Although, if you have explosives, you can do that. Uh, you can do that just fine. Hmm. Two minutes remain. Oh, see, this isn't so bad. You only, you only have to do it for. They only gave you like half the amount of time that the defense had when it was just AI. <laughs> No, well, uh, they get the they get how however much time that you uh, that you have left on your on on your assault because you do have a you do have a, a, a time limit on your assault usually ten minutes and if you and uh, if you manage to uh, clear it before then then that is how long then how long it took you is how long the defense the uh, the uh, the uh, the, op uh, the, op the opposing team has in order to well beat your time effectively. Yeah, to re to re oh to beat the time. Yeah. Ah, I see. Yo ho ho. One minute remains. All right, we got one. Oh, oh boy. Now, do they get more time if they complete the objective, or do we just do, or do we just lose? No. Uh, the uh, if if. The, if they act, if they actually uh, manage to beat our time on the first assault, we play we play for another round because that counts as them getting one point. And assault and assault uh, uh, caps out at two points for all of the maps for the campaign. Yeah, all of the maps. Thirty seconds left. <sighs> By the power of friendship. So what 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 is that countdown timer on the left? The one in the middle. Uh, that is reinforcements. So reinforcements spawn every seven seconds. Uh, yes. Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
No more reinforcements. Yay! 88 points for us. Sweet. Lauren didn't do anything that mission. The hell, Lauren? Well, she got four points. Yeah, it's four kills total. Well, at least she didn't die. Uh, we don't know that. <laughs> you see? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and look, she got injured even. Yeesh. Well, maybe that's why she couldn't kill that many dudes. She was hurting and couldn't concentrate. All right, let us continue on to the next assault map, Robot Factory. I the dislike LBX this map. Seven, six, eight, three. But where do the batteries go? That's the name of the, the mission. Uh, the batteries are not actually important in this mission. I mean, unless you want to count the uh, the the uh, on base defenses. Ha! <laughs> ah, uh, blood fist. This scenario is a hey, story time. Boundary robot yep. uprising on the mechanical planet of LBX seven six eight three, and the subsequent quelling of this rebellion by human forces. Woohoo! LBX-7683 was an outpost for research and development of the next generation of Leandri robots. Leandri's no, which would eventually uh, come to replace Axon, a Divisor, Corruption, uh, and uh, Matrix, and Enigma. Eventually, they rebelled against the humans and took the planet. And that is a, another the map design road, thing I remember, is how to the rock for their own game. let the offense make progress by the destroying things, like uh, automatic gun turrets or robot. explosive barrels, things During like that. On the world, a small team was inserted with the sole goal so even if they don't get to the AI checkpoint, they could still ease the path. The ability of the machines to reproduce themselves and ending this uprising. You have landed near the robot factory's docking and loading facilities. Your goal is to breach the factory's defenses and destroy the AI generator. We are being racist. Oh well. First, you must find the satellite dish to contact your headquarters. Reestablish re comms. Got it. Is it a press and hold objective? Then yes. destroy the gate. Yes, I love press and hold objectives. Factory. Cause it means you can't you can't defend yourself while you're holding the button. You gotta no, use no, your no, team. No, 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 no! You totally can, but you have to stand on the point. Gotta open the door, but the timer takes a sadistically long time. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's like it's like ten seconds, honestly. <laughs> Cutting the data, the data cables is significantly more difficult, honestly. <laughs> this room specifically get, uh, gets to be a, a pain in the ass. Because the uh, one in the back has got a front shield that you have, they have to shoot around. This would, this is how Cortana would explain to Batman what it is Batman has to do in order to save the day. Now, Cortana doesn't speak to Batman. I know. I'm just saying. It's a little fan fiction-y. <laughs> Destroy the AI generator to stop the robot production. That one's actually pretty easy. Which we will do in the next part. Assault the yep, base. Be safe, everybody. Get those checkpoints. <laughs>